Namaste, happy full moon day and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be demonstrating one full round of Chandra Namaskar or the moon salutation, which is a great way to honor the energy of the moon, the feminine, sacred, divine energy of the full moon. It is a sequence that is very restorative and soothing and particularly calming when practiced in the evening and helps us to connect to those healing energies that the full moon brings. We're going to start off in a seated position and open the practice by chanting a Chandra Mantra, the Moon Mantra. If you haven't already watched my previous video, I'll put the link to that video in the description box below. In that video, I have shared three mantras or hand gestures that I like to practice to connect to that creative energy that the full moon brings and two of the Chandra Mantras. So we'll be chanting one right here, right now. So let's get ready. Come to a comfortable seated position and bring your palms to touch in front of the heart space. Relaxing the shoulders, allowing all the muscles of the face to soften. Bring the awareness to that space in between the eyebrows, the third eye chakra. And see if you can visualize a beautiful full moon shining above you. And Feel the moonlight bathing your entire body with those healing energies. And we're going to chant Om Som Somaya Namaha together once. Inhale. Om Som Somaya Namaha. Bow your head, bowing down to Mother Moon and then blink your eyes to open. We're going to get started with the moon salutation now. The only thing you might need uh, is a block or two, just to help you uh, in a couple of postures if needed. And I'm going to go really slow. Like I said, it's a soothing meditative practice, and I'm just going to give you instructions so that when you are by yourself, you can practice it nice and easily. Because it can get a bit confusing. It's a bit longer than the sun salutation. So bear with me and try to practice with me, and then you can practice a few more rounds by yourself. So come to the right side of your mat because we're going to step out to the left. Feet are slightly apart or together, arms by the side. We're going to begin by just tuning in, feeling the ground beneath our feet and then bringing the palms to touch in Anjali Mudra, prayer gesture in front of the heart space. Good. Let's inhale to reach the arms nice and high. I know my hands are out of the picture, but I'm just going to interlace my fingers and keep the index fingers out reaching them high with my inhale and with the exhale I'm leaning toward the left side hips go right I'm extending through the right side of the body so my chest is nice and open I'm not leaning forward or back both my feet are grounded inhale to come back to center exhale let's lean to the right side hips go left once again chest is nice and open feet are planted on the floor Come back to center with the inhale, arms come by the side of the body. Take a big step out with your left foot, toes are pointing out, heels are in, and we're going to bend the knees and come into a goddess posture. So, shoulders are back, core is engaged, collarbones are wide, hands can either come to heart center or you can open up the arms bringing a 90 degree angle in the elbow elbows. Both your feet are grounded, knees are out and open and breathe. Good. We're going to press equally into both our feet and extend the arms to the side. Getting ready for Trikonasana or triangle pose. Turn the right foot in to a 45 degree angle, left foot is out, arms are by the side. Take a big breath in. With the exhale, imagine somebody pulling your left arm away from you and then drop the left arm down, reach the right fingertips high. Let's make sure our shoulders are aligned and the right hand or the right wrist is in line with the shoulder. So I'm not pulling the hand back. That will end up uh, giving you some discomfort in the shoulder. Elongate both the sides of the waist. Let's take one more breath here. And then looking down towards your foot, 
come back to center. Hands on the hips. We're going to bring the right leg a little closer and square our hips towards the left side. Square the shoulders. Inhale to lift the heart. Exhale as you lean forward. Now try to keep the legs as straight as possible. If you need a micro bend in the left knee, that's fine. And then think of elongating both the sides of the waist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, maybe you fold towards the left leg. Now with the hands on the hips, we want to guide the hips. So with the right hand, pull the right hip forward. With the left hand, pull the left hip back. Keep the neck nice and long, shoulders away from the ears. You can either stay here or you can fold over the leg. Good. Now bring the hands down to frame your foot and step the right foot back. Drop that back knee and open up through the chest. So the left knee is right over the left ankle and I'm going to open up through the chest. Now if you need a little lift, feel free to use blocks under the hands and stay here for a couple of breaths. Another option is to bring the hands to heart center. Now for the back foot, you can either keep the toes tucked or untucked. Okay, so see what feels better for your knee. Now if you have your hands in front of your chest, another option is to reach the arms up and maybe even lift the heart and arch. And then when you're ready, you're going to bring both the hands to the right side of the left foot and turn forward. Good. We're coming now into skandhasan or the half squat position. Now this one is a little hard, so bear with me. You can take any variation that feel, feels good for you. Right leg nice and straight. Left toes are pointing diagonally out. The heel can be on the floor or if not, it can be off the floor. Hands can be in front of you to support you. All right, so this is the first variation. Right toes are either flexed or pointing and lift the heart. If this is still too hard, you take two blocks or two books and place them under your sitting bones and then you're going to make yourself nice and comfortable and sit on top of those blocks. So this is what it would look like. You're still getting the benefit of the posture. And like I said, this is supposed to be a calming and soothing practice, so make yourself comfortable. Good. So if you're without the blocks, see if you can hold yourself in this posture without the hands supporting you. Palms press into each other in the center of your chest. And maybe with the elbow, you're able to guide the knee open. Good. Now from here, we're going to move into Malasana or Garland Pose. Hands come forward and slide your right foot closer and come into full squat. So Malasana, Garland Pose. With the elbows, maybe you're able to push the knees away. Keep, this, keep the hands in the center of your chest. Keep the collarbones wide. Again, if your heels don't reach the floor, don't worry. You can keep the heels off the floor. You can even sit on top of the blocks. And this is actually very, very nice. You can just make yourself comfortable. Pull the knees apart. Feet are flat. Lift the heart. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. This is a very grounding posture. I absolutely love it. Feel the ground beneath your feet. Keep your chest nice and open. Good. So wherever you are, whichever variation you've taken, we're going to move to the other side now. So stretch out the right leg and come into Skandhasan on this side now. So same thing, take whichever variation works for you. Straighten the left leg, push the right knee away from you, either sit on blocks or keep the heel lifted and use your hands to support yourself. Good. From here, frame the right foot with both the hands and come into that lunge position. Keep the toes tucked or untucked. Use your blocks if you need to or hands come to heart center. Inhale to reach up maybe. Take a couple of breaths wherever you are, whichever variation you've chosen. 
And then we're going to bring our hands to frame our foot, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, and step the foot a little closer for pyramid pose. Bring the hands to the hips and lift yourself up just to set ourselves up for pyramid. Let's make sure the back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Lift the heart, take a big breath in. And exhale as you press into both your feet, reach the crown of your head forward. Now let's adjust our hips. With the left hand, pull the left hip forward. With the right hand, pull the right hip back. Draw the belly in, shoulders away from the ears. And maybe with your exhale, you can fold over the leg. Good. Press into both your feet as you lift yourself all the way up. And let's get ready for Trikonasana or Triangle Pose. Right foot out, left foot 45 degrees in. Inhale here. Exhale. Imagine somebody pulling your right hand away from you. Pull, pull, pull. Left hip is up, right hip is down. And then drop the right fingertips. Reach the left fingertips high. Now expand in all directions, left fingertips high up, crown of the head forward, elongate both the sides of your waist and press into both your feet. Take a couple of breaths here. And then look down towards your right toes, cartwheel your arms back to center. Let's point the toes of both our feet diagonally out, heels are in, and then come into goddess posture. Knees out, feet are flat, hands can come to heart center. And again, if you wish to take any of the mudras that I've shown in my previous video, feel free to do so. Lotus mudra in front of the heart, yoni mudra on the lower belly, or just anjali mudra. Good. Now press into both your feet. Lift yourself up. Reach the arms high. And arms can come to the sides. Now we're going to step to the other edge of the mat. So come to this side. Now we're going to do exactly what we did when we started on the right side of the mat. Now we're starting on the left. Feet together or slightly apart. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Interlace the fingers, index fingers point up, exhale, lean to the right, hips go left. Press equally into both your feet, feel that stretch in the left side of the body. Inhale, center, reach up, exhale, left side. Come back to center, inhale, arms come by the side, take a big step out with your right foot. Toes are out, heels are in, open up the arms. Bend into the knees, goddess pose. Core is strong, collarbones are smiling. Neck is long. Good. Press into both your feet, reach up, extend the arms up. And arms come to the side. Right foot out, left foot 45 degrees in. Trikonasana, inhale. Exhale, pull the right fingertips, drop the right hand, lift the left arm. Your gaze can be towards the left fingertips. Think of elongating both the sides of the waist, pressing equally into both your feet, and then looking down slowly, cartwheel your arms back. Hands come to your hips uh, for pyramid pose. Now, square your hips, square your shoulders. It is helpful to bring the back foot a little closer. Inhale, exhale, lean forward and fold forward. Now. Remember what we did with our hands? Pull the left hip forward, right hip back. Elongate the spine. Inhale and exhale. Maybe you fold and drop your head. Good. From here, we're going to frame our foot with our hands and step the left foot back and bend the forward knee. Make sure the right knee is right over the right ankle. You can either tuck or untuck the back toes and see if you need your blocks. Lift the heart, spread the collarbones wide. Maybe even bring your hands in front of your chest. Lift them high up. Stay present. Remember to breathe. Good. From here, both the hands come to the inside of the foot. 
and we're going to come into Skandasan on the right side. So make sure you find whichever variation works for you. Either place the blocks underneath your, the sitting bones. Maybe you come to Skandasan without the blocks. Making sure that the knees tracking over the toes, the toes are diagonal. So they're pointing outwards. Good. From here, your hands can support you and slide the left foot closer, come into Malasan. Take a few breaths here. Feel your feet touching the ground. Maybe the heels are off the floor, that's fine. Make sure that you're gently pushing the knees away and lifting the heart. Crown of the head is reaching up. Take one or two more breaths here. And now we're going to do Skandasan on the other side. So whenever you're ready, use your hands, stretch out the left leg and come all the way to the left into Skandasan. So see which variation you want to take. Feel free to use your hands, lift the heels. And now let's frame our left foot with both the hands, turn towards the left, coming into that lunge position. Take whichever variation suits you on this side. Good. When you're ready, frame your foot with your hands, tuck the back toes under, lift that knee and step the foot closer. We're going to get ready for pyramid pose. Hands on the hips. Inhale to lift the chest, lift the heart and exhale, fold forward. Now with the hands, right hip forward, left hip back, square your hips, lengthen through the sides of the waist, pressing into your feet. Find your foundation through your feet and fold. Stay present here with every little sensation that you're feeling. Good. Press into both your feet as you lift yourself up and spread your arms. Getting ready for Trikonasan. So this time you can step the right foot slightly back. Arms are nice and long. Inhale. Exhale, pull the left fingertips away from you. Reach the right hand up, left hand down. Spread the shoulders nice and wide. Expand through the chest, through the crown of your head. Look down towards the floor. Cartwheel your arms back, coming back to center. Hands on the hips. Turn your feet out. So toes are out, heels are in. Goddess pose. Open up the arms or take Anjali Mudra, Padma Mudra, whichever you choose. Keep the heart lifted. Take a couple of breaths here. And then when you're ready, we're going to lift ourselves up. Spread the collarbones as you reach the arms up. Arms come by the side and we're going to step to where we started. There we go, hands come to heart center. Take a moment here, feel all the energy circulating tr through the body, through the mind. And whenever you're ready, take your time to blink your eyes to open and come to a seat. So this was one full round of the Chandra Namaskar. I know it can be a bit confusing, which way do I go? It took me some time to get used to it, but I hope that you enjoyed it. And like I said, feel free to stay in each posture a bit longer if you wish to, and if that feels good, and use any props that you need to. I wish you all a beautiful and peaceful full moon, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for following. Namaste.